Hey guys, it's Toothless, and today I'm going to show you how to make your craft using the, the little bag you got in your Kesson kit. Um, so for today, all the supplies you'll need is this bag with the glue, pie cleaners, pom-poms, and googly eyes. You'll need a paper towel, a sheet of paper that you can either get from your notebook or a different sheet of paper, and some sort of writing utensil or coloring, however elaborate you want to get with the writing utensil. So first things first, we're going to be putting Carl on our piece of paper. So you can start out by drawing a scene around where you want Carl to go, or you can draw around Carl after you're done. Personally, I'm gonna draw first. So I'm gonna pause this video and come back and you guys get to see the drawing I've come up with, and then we'll get started with our craft. All right, so the drawing I did is just a little path with some flowers and then, you know, gotta have the classic sun in the corner. So this is the scene that I'm going to put Carl on. So to start out, we're going to take our paper towel and put it underneath our paper because we don't want to have any glue go through the paper and get on the surface that you're using. Um, I also want to point out this drawing. You can use all of the crayons and the markers or anything else you got in your kit to make it as creative as you want. You can put Carl anywhere you want. This is totally up to y'all's creativity. Um, we hope y'all do something really cool. So we're going to take out all of our supplies. So I'm going to take out the glue, the pipe cleaners, and then I'm just going to pour out the pom-poms, make sure you don't lose any, you know, pets eat any. So to start, I'm going to make just a classic Carl. So I'm going to grab these colors. Now normally Carl has eight little segments, but for today, I'm just going to do six because that's just what I'm feeling like doing today. So to actually make our Carl, I'm going to show you two different methods of making Carl on this sheet of paper. To start, I'm just going to glue a little piece of glue on the piece of paper wherever you want to put Carl. Again, you could have drawn something before or you can draw something after. Um, but I'm just going to start over here on my path. This is going to be his tail. So I'm going to take one of the pom-poms and just stick it on the paper. And then I'm basically just going to repeat that until I have made my whole Carl. I like to put a little bit of glue on the pom-poms between each other as well as the paper. Um, it should stick either way as long as you put glue on the paper and the pom-pom. We gave y'all more than enough glue, so make sure you use as much glue as you want. You're not going to run out. Now this is the body of my Carl. So I'm going to use this as the head, but before I put the head on, I'm going to show y'all how to fold your pipe cleaners to make one set of antennas. So what I like to do is, you have your pipe cleaner, you fold it in half, and crease it at this side, and then you take one of the halves and fold it in half again, like so. And then I just twist it a little bit to make sure it's really secure. So I just twist it around a little bit to make sure the fold in half won't go anywhere. Then you fold in half the other side again, like so. And then you take the, them again and you fold it in half. And now you want to grab the top part and twist. And you want to twist until the top part has a little circle on the end of it to make his antenna and do the same thing on the other side. So just twist while holding this very top part so this part doesn't twist. And then now you have a set of antennas. And now I'm gonna glue the antennas to the puffball that is on the paper and to the puffball that I'm about to glue onto the paper.
And so that is how we do the Carl the original way. Um, I'm going to show you how to make him another way. So you can take your other pipe cleaner. You're welcome to do two Carls exactly like this, but this is just another method that I came up with. And you're going to fold it like this. Then make two little legs like that so they're evenly sized. So you want them to be little legs. And then you're going to just keep making little legs along his body. So you make sort of an eye shape. And we're going to make three sets of legs. So you just keep making legs like that. You can twist them a little bit if you want them to be secure like we did with the antenna. You don't have to. And then when you get past your third set of legs, you're going to make the antennas. So you just want it to end in a little Y like that. So you can place this guy on the paper. You're going to glue him down wherever you want to. Make sure you hold him down for a few seconds to let the glue set. If you have glue on your fingers, you can just rub it off. And then you're going to glue the puff ball to your little Carl, I guess, skeleton that you've made. And just press that down. I use a lot of glue. And then this is going to be his head. Sorry, this is going to be his head now. So you're going to glue his head so that the antennas are behind his head. And there you have it. These are two different ways to make the Carls. And now the googly eyes. So some of y'all are going to get different numbers and sizes of googly eyes. That's okay. This Carl doesn't have to look perfect. For my Carl, I'm going to give him one big eye on the top because that's how I want him. I'm going to put a generous amount of glue and stick my googly eye on. I'm just going to hold it there for a few seconds to make sure that it stays. And for this Carl, I'm going to give him one big eye and one small eye. Just going to get my two little glue dots. That one and that one. And I have some puff balls left over and that's okay. And some googly eyes left over. Maybe you can make yourself a super small Carl. Now, if you decided to draw after you put your curls on the sheet of paper, I would recommend letting these dry maybe overnight even before you started drawing around them just to make sure they're really stuck on the paper and they're not going to move anywhere. If any puff ball or pipe cleaner comes off, just re-glue it and then let it dry again. And that is how you make Carl on a sheet of paper.